today I wanted to do a haul video for you. I've not done a haul video in quite a while, aside from the book haul that I've just uploaded. Um, but I realised I have accumulated quite a few items across quite a few different categories, so I thought I'd show them to you. There's quite a few sort of pre-holiday things in here, as well as also just some random bits. So it's going to be a long video, I can just tell. So go grab yourself a drink and a snack and let's get started. So I'll start with the things that I got from HomeSense, because they're sort of the closest things towards me. Darren and I actually just got back from HomeSense. Um, I watched Louise Pentland's Home Sense haul. I love Home Sense, um, and I always find that inspires me to want to go there. Uh, so it did, and obviously, like she says, you can't just go in for one thing. I didn't have anything particular in mind, but obviously, I bought a few things. So the first thing we'll start off maybe with the least interesting was this iPhone cable. Um, it's a 200 centimeter one. It just looks really long. I don't know if you can tell. It's quite a it's quite sunny and glary today, but it's like purple cord and I just thought it would be quite handy. It's always good, I feel, to have a spare iPod, iPhone cable um, because they can just get broken really easily. And this has like a really nice bendy wire that I feel is not going to fray as easily as the actual iPhone ones. So very handy and again I think it would be good for holiday because sometimes the the plugs are well away from where you want them to be so I got that and that was 3 99 I then got two notebooks and the first one is by Conceptum and it's only a little one this was 3 49 as opposed to 12 pounds and it's just sort of a little pocket uh, A5 size and it's lined on the inside and I got this for work just to take notes with me it's also got numbered pages so if you're into doing like um, an index then that might be something for you um, it's got a little pen loop and a strap over it and I thought that's just a really nice little size to carry around for work and then the other one got I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use but I could not leave without it and it's Ted Baker one, and this was $7.99 as opposed to $15.95. And it's this really nice sort of leather bound um, book with sort of rose gold embossing on it. It's really, really beautiful. Um, I don't know, like I said, what I'm gonna use it for, whether it be work related, um, sort of like blog related, um, sort of like my YouTube in my Etsy shop. Um, or whether I use it as my diary, but it's got a really pretty tassel as well. And yeah, it was so beautiful, so I couldn't pass that one up. And the final thing I got from HomeSense was a beach towel. So obviously we're going away to Mexico next month, and um, I wasn't planning to get a beach towel, but Darren has a beach towel that he takes with him. He has a West Ham one, and I always find like I'm really jealous because he ends up having two beach towels because you can rent one obviously from the resort and so I was like I really because they're never long enough for the whole of like the lounger um, and sometimes if one gets really wet it's nice to have one that's not wet so I got this one this was 12 99 I believe and it's from the brand Saint Tropez West and it's this really gorgeous sort of I don't know how to describe it. it's like that baroque kind of look um, with sort of like a mandela on it it is really really pretty and um if i just hold up as you can see it looks like that and i just thought it was really nice really nice and summery i like the colors i nearly went for a really hot pink one which had like little westy dogs on it but um i settled for this one also because it was larger as well so i got that and it's really sort of nice and soft so and i don't actually have a beach towel if we were to go to like the beach or the park or something here so good to have that so moving on, I'll move on to a couple of bits that I got from Kipling. Um, these were purchased from various different places. I don't know what it is, but the past sort of month or so, I've really gotten into the Kipling brand. If you don't know, it's primarily a handbag brand, um, very popular here in the UK. Um, started off in Belgium, I want to say, um, but it's sort of it's prints and things like that sort of rung alongside the likes of Radley and um, Cathkids and that sort of style. 
and I was watching QVC which if you don't know I know it's in America as well it's like a, a TV shopping channel and I was hooked I saw this bag and I was like I need to get it I got it the day that it was released because they were offering special discount on it like 30 pounds off and I thought that is perfect for holiday because I was looking for a holiday bag and I had a bad experience I bought a bag of eBay that was Kipling it was like a really good price for what it usually is but when I got it it really smelled smoke like you could tell it came from a smoker's house and I contacted the seller they were really like standoffish about it they weren't gonna like take responsibility for it they weren't gonna offer me like to send it back for a refund I got in touch with PayPal and they are going to offer the refund and I've sent the bag back. But that is just something to be wary of. I've like I've bought loads of stuff from eBay over the past and um, it was just one of those things that every now and again you get something bad that crops up. So I went and bought something brand new and I love it. So this is the Eras bag, A-I-R-A-S and this is in the bold leaf grey. I love the print of this bag so it's like this grey tote bag with these pink leaves with the blue outline obviously Kipling is signature for their monkeys um, what I really liked about it was it had both the top handles and I mean like shoulder handles really and then the large crossbody strap and it had a zip on the top so this is perfect for going down to the pool to the beach um, I love the fact that it's got a zip on the top. It also has a zip on the back, which I can put my camera and my phone in um, without having to go deep into the bag. But the sort of special feature about this bag is that it expands. So this bit here is a zip on the back. And if I can try and do this one handed, which I'm probably not gonna be able to, you just literally unzip it. And it expands by a couple more inches, which I think is really cool. So perfect to fit my beach towel in, perfect fit book for holiday and the hands, the sun cream, all the stuff that you need. Um, and I'll probably keep it expanded like this for most of the time. But obviously it's a good sort of like, like mummy baby bag or a good shopping bag. And if you buy more, you just expand it. Um, and I just... I, just fell in love with it and it's really a nice sort of light spring summery print it's really big on the inside it's got a few like it's got a zip pocket and a couple of pockets on the side and um, you've also got your key fob so I could clip my purse onto that um, but yeah because last time I went to Mexico I took my Radley um, pocket tote but obviously I use that as my work bag now and it's looking pretty worse for wear so I wanted a new bag to take with me and then speaking of Kipling and holiday purchases I got this little purse which I can clip on to my bag which will be good good again for safety and this is the creativity small purse um, and it's in the color Kipling twist which is a mauve blush color and um, so this is what it looks like it's got like an embossed almost like a, a leopard cheetah print on it and it's that sort of really nice dusky mauve grey purpley colour with the silver hardware and then as you can see from the side it has three compartments and the one in the middle is like a shiny like silver so you open up the main compartment and you've got two either side and the zip in the middle as well so I thought this is good to separate our American and our Mexican currency um, and then also in the middle I can put British currency for like the airport or I can put my um, extra batteries and memory cards I probably won't just because I don't like I, if something went missing like if my purse got lost I wouldn't want to lose that as well but you know it's just an option um, but I like how much sort of how compact it can be but the nice organizing in it and I did buy that off eBay but you can get these in loads of different prints some come with monkeys um, I can't remember quite the prices of these. I think this was like £12. And then this, I think I paid about £60. I got £5 off because I was a new member to QVC, which anyone can get. Um, but it, the price has gone up because that was like the special one day offer. 
So that's what I got from Kipling. Uh, keeping with sort of the accessories themed, I got this today as well. Um, we actually went to Haskins and Hobbycraft and I saw this and I was like, I need that. And um, this was 9 dollars It's brought by the brand Danielle and it is this gorgeous like makeup toiletries bag with their little alpacas with their little llamas on it. I'm never quite sure how you can tell if it's an alpaca or a llama. Um, I love alpacas um, and it's just a really nice sort of silvery gunmetal colour and then r the really lovely pastel colours. And I thought that would just per be perfect because obviously you can see what's inside um, really easily. And even if I want to crowd other bits and pieces in here and not like makeup items and I'm still like you've got that way of looking in and seeing what's in there really easily so I like that. So I'll move on to clothing next. I have a few bikinis to show you and one piece of clothing. So I'll start with the clothing item. Um, it's going to be slightly hard to show on camera, but I will do my best. I believe I got this from Boohoo, I want to say. Boohoo or ASOS. I can't quite remember where I got it from, but I've I'll leave a link if I can find it down below and to any of the other stuff that I show you. But it is this petite sized jumpsuit and it is gorgeous. It's this really nice light material. Um, you've got a, a popper in the middle. So for those that, of us that are slightly bigger chested, it helps to sort of not show everything. Um, and it is sort of quite a secure little popper. And like I said, it's a play suit, oh not a play suit, a jumpsuit. So it's full length, great that they do it in a petite size. Um, and it's got pockets, which I love, but it's a really nice thin cotton material. So perfect for holiday, but because of the dark color, it's not see-through, which I find you get jumpsuits in places and they're like, so like light colored and thin that you can see your underwear straight through it. So. I've already worn this once on a date night out and I really liked it. Um, if I took a picture, I will insert that just so you can see sort of better what it looks like on person. So yeah, one other thing I did get that I haven't actually got to show you because it's in the wash is a pair of dungarees and those were from Boohoo in their petite section. Um, if I can find a picture, I will insert it, but it's just like black dungarees, um, like full length and um, I thought they looked really cute with sort of little tops and things like that. I did buy like a little stripy top to go with that as well, but that's also in the wash. Um, if I'd planned this a bit better, I would have had that. Um, but yeah, I will link everything I can down below. On to the swimwear. I got three pieces of swimwear. So for the past like month or so, I've been on hunt for swimwear. Um, I've ordered from ASOS, Boo Avenue, like those are usually my two staples that I can find a piece that works. Um, I've bought a lot in the past from ASOS, um, but I, ju I just could not get on with it. Um, and I found these on Swimwear 365 and I was like, they're cute, I'm gonna purchase those. Um, and I ordered four and I ended up keeping three, so that's pretty good. And there's sort of a theme with these of the fact that they're all comfortable and covering and look cute as well so the first one is this stripey one so it's like a, a heavy black and white stripe you've got little button details and then you've got um these sort of not hot pink but that sort of dark cerisey pink um it's got under wiring underneath but really not much padding you've got that front layer and then a mesh layer on the back so quite sort of like realistic looking really um because I've had bikini bras in the past that I've got so much padding in that I feel like my boobs are just going to fall out whenever I swim so I liked this and I like the fact that it had like proper like bra straps rather than halter neck because sometimes I find that halter neck um it can hurt your neck a little bit especially if you've got heavier boobs um just saying that I'm pretty sure the other two are halter neck so it's nice just to have something different um, so I'll probably be taking all three of these on holiday with me and a swimsuit I'd say just because sometimes I like to feel all covered up um, so that's the tops and then the bottoms are high waisted um, so they look like this and they've got that really nice sort of band at the top as well with the buttons um, I can't remember how much these were um, I think they were like 
fairly average on price um, but like I said if I can find them I will link them below and then the next one again is a bit of a stripey theme but they're slightly a different shape this um, one is more of like a triangle shape whereas that one's more of so this is like more of a plunge whereas the other one's a bit more like a balcony if you're a woman you know what I'm on about um, or even if you're not a woman but wear bras then you know um, so this is more of that sort of triangle shape it does have our under wiring at the bottom and this one does have a little bit of padding you can take the padding out it's got the little sort of hole at the side which sometimes I find helpful because you put them in the wash and then they misshapen and you have to like fix them back um, but they've got this really pretty sort of like teal green stripe around it which is not normally a colour I go for but I think it works really well with the stripes um, and to be honest you could mix and match um, with the other set and then these ones are just sort of your, your normal um, bikini underwear sort of full brief so it looks like that and um, just out of curiosity, if you're interested, the actual brands of these. So this one is by Pour Moi. And this one is by um, Mixkini, I think. Or Kangaroos. It says both, so that's that one. And then the third one I got is, again, not something I usually go for. It is a halter neck, but it's a black one. Really simple, but it's got this gorgeous sort of foil mandela detail and i love anything with like a mandela on it um again no padding but it does have the underwire and this just looks super flattering on um i think black in general is a really safe bet to go for um and like i said the only other black one i've got is that really push-up one but in these all i just put them on and i was like my boobs <laughs> feel so secure in this um, and then the bottoms again very similar your average brief but they've got that mandela on the opposite side to the top um, and these ones are by venice beach but i bought them all on swimwear 365 oh one other thing i forgot to mention that i got from home sense is this cute little bag next week or by the time this goes up it was may already be born we are expecting a little baby niece to come along um darren's brother um and his um fiance are expecting a baby so um we've got a couple of little bits for it so i wanted to pick up the bag and this was sort of the closest thing they had to a baby bag but i just thought it was really really pretty it comes with a tissue paper so perfect and yeah i really thought that was quite cute I have been on a slight sort of necklace addiction lately, I don't know why, but I've bought three necklaces over like the past month, um, which much to Darren's horror. Um, the first one is the one that I'm wearing right now, I will link all these down below because off the top of my head I can't remember like Instagram names. This one I know is by Hello Halstead, um, but again I'll, I'll leave the links down below um, and if I take it off I can show you it up close. In fact, I might just do a little close-up of all three of these. But it's um, Jewel Hand Makes These. And they are little real flowers that are um, held in resin. And they are super, super pretty. She's done this sort of style for um, quite a while now. And she tends to release quite a few batch, like in a batch at a time. And I've just been lusting after them for ages. And I really like it. It's very lightweight and dainty, actually. which And it's sort of a little smaller than I expected. But I really like it. It sits at a really nice place. And you know, I'm just wearing a plain t-shirt with Mickey Mouse on it. And I think it goes really well. The next one I got was from someone on Instagram who has a shop that I've sort of discovered. And as you know, I'm obsessed with space and everything in general. And this is a tiny little astronaut. Like I said, I'll insert a clip. She does quite a few sort of different styles of these in like different colours. And like rocket ships and aliens. Um, but my favourite are her little astronauts. And I just got the one that looked most like a real astronaut. And this one's on a silver chain. But she does sort of different variations. And then the third one I got is sort of work based. And this is by the brand Finest Imaginary. I saw them on Instagram. And they make these necklaces which um, are primarily like for crafters. Or people with like small businesses that um, want a way of sort of 
advertising who they are. So this is the one I got. You could get it in a brooch and a necklace. I chose the necklace and basically you can pick the colour of it. You can put, you can choose what's in the middle and then the handle or whatever phrase or anything you want underneath. So this is the one I picked. So it says, hello, my name is Sophie. And then underneath it's got the British knitter and you can have anything put either side. Um, they have some examples of heart stars. You can have it underlined. Um, you can choose whether you want the heart dotting the eye and I was like is it possible to have knitting needles put on it and they were like sure they sent me back um, the proof of it and they sent everyone a proof of it of what you've chose and I was like is it possible to have it just spaced out a little bit more from the name and they were like sure no problem really easy to work with um, and it probably took a couple of weeks or so um, but I think it's so so cute and that will be like on a necklace that I can wear at my next craft fairs um, so really pleased to have got that. And then the final few bits I got from Tesco's. We went on a late night shopping trip at Tesco's, which is never good. Um, and I got these two magazine holders. Not overly sure what I'm going to do with them yet, because I do have two magazine holders. But I thought these were super pretty. I just couldn't pass them up. They're like this petal leaf sort of design. Um, does it say how much they were? No, it doesn't, but I got two of those because I like them to be matching. And then I also got the matching box and it's sort of part of this Blooming Beautiful line. Um, this is just a small storage box. Again, don't know what I'm going to put into it, but I will find a use. And then I got this notebook. Again, I'm going a bit notebook crazy. Um, but this one's lined and again, really beautiful. And I thought good for like blogging and YouTube ideas, things like that. And for my shop, I then got two books. Um, I'm going through this quite quickly because my memory card's running out of memory. So I got, I know I've just bought a load of books, but I couldn't pass more books up. So this one's Copycat by Alex Lake. Um, which is about like someone that's created a, pro a Facebook profile in their name and pretending to be them. And this one's called Clean by Juno Dawson. This is a young adult teen fiction and it's about um, a girl going into rehab and having a drug addiction, which is interesting. So I picked those up in the two for seven range. I then have three magazines, which I may start to read now, but I may save for like the plane and for Mexico. And they're all sort of mind focus like um positivity ones um and they're like the nice thick magazines so i got planet mindful and this is their spring issue i got breathe um again probably like a spring issue issue number 12 and they actually have one they have two for teens they have a girls team one and a boys team one which i think is really good idea to um pass on to a younger person and then I got in the moment and this one came with a little happy um, notes book which has like loads of little affirmations in it that you can tear out and make little note cards out of them so they're all just about like how to basically improve your well-being and positivity and just mental health and I'm all about improving that so I got those and then the final two things I got were these lip glosses. These are like um, lip stains more. Um, they're by Maybelline New York and these are their Superstay Matte Ink Colours. Again, I'll do a swatch, um, but this is, let me show you, this is what they look like. So my typical colours. The bottom one is what I'm wearing today. Um, so the bottom one, which I'm wearing, is 95 Visionary and the other one is 15 Lover, which is like that gorgeous mid-tone pink. I will say you do need sort of a couple coats. Definitely recommend a lip liner with them, um, especially for the darker colours. Um, they don't feel like drying as much as that. They feel just a bit sticky like throughout the day. Not like lip gloss sticky, but you can sort of feel your lips sticking together. But they've got a gorgeous scent to them. Like a real fruity scent and it's gorgeous and I love this colour. So that's the two lip products I got and I think that is everything that I got um like I said a long haul video I feel like how have I bought this much stuff um but like I said we're going to Mexico so a lot of the stuff was bought for that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video bye guys